question about this or, uh, staying with you. Where? Oh my gosh, a bear! Can we get that in video? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> walk over this. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. okay, so this is what we're talking about. How this place is so untouched. So normally people in Vancouver they have bunnies hopping in their yards or raccoons, but this place has bears that just casually walk by, minding their own business, and everyone here seems to be okay with it. I didn't expect that. That's crazy. I just saw this thing moving. Like, wait, is that a bear? Yes, it is. And no one freaks out. Okay, yeah, that's they're, awesome. They're, we get everything that comes around the yard. You get elk here. You get bears. You get deer. Everything just wanders right through the yard. That's hilarious. Oh my gosh, is it still there? It's probably, uh, he's probably looking. You can in tell my, him more of like a, he's a probably city looking in my green, greenhouse <laughs> right now. Okay, so first off, Danny, I have to say thank you for allowing Roddy and I to stay at your lodge. It was, this is my very first time up here fishing the Pitt River, and I didn't even know this lodge actually existed before uh, he invited me on this trip, and it is gorgeous, and I hear you have another lodge uh, a little bit further up river, don't you? Yeah, another one further up the river, it's a uh, fly fishing only lodge, mm -hmm. and it actually sits on a, a cliff, and it overlooks the whole river. It's absolutely spectacular up there. Both, both lodges, like, what made you think in the first place to bring all this stuff up here. You know, he doesn't have just one lodge. There's cabins all around uh, the main lodge here. And it seems like you have a bunch of people that come up here. And what made you um, think one day that you're going to build a lodge on the pit? I had commercial fish for years when I, since basically it was all fishing with my dad since mm -hmm. I was a kid. And we used to come up this river and been fishing has been my life. And as soon as I come up here, I just fell in love with the area. Yeah. And it's like, what an amazing area. And then this old timer lived on the property, eventually put it up for sale. And I decided, okay. Me and my dad bought it, bought the property, and I said, well, I'm going to build a lodge. And didn't have any idea how to do it, and uh, next thing you know, I got a friend of mine, and me and him ended up building a lodge, designed it and built it, and it turned out perfect. And you build it, they will come, and they started coming. So just from the time being here at the lodge uh, and speaking to some of the other guests that are staying uh, with us, some of the things that they really liked is the landscape around, um, the mountains, uh, the river, how it's... It's so big in some areas, so small. Uh, we saw a helicopter flying over us with one of your guests because you do helicopter tours around the pit. Is that right? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. So it's, you can come up here in, in a jet boat up to the property, drift the river. They take you on helicopter rides. Like, you really can't get any other way. Or, um, there's no better way to explore the outdoors. It's really amazing up here. And there's no, I've been, I commercial fished all up and down mm -hmm. the coast everywhere. And this is a really unique river, and it's got all five salmon species come into this river. And sea run, bull trout, rainbows, cutthroat, and, and steelhead. steelhead Every which is single really thing. really rare. There's no rivers that you can find like the pit, and it's so close to the ocean, so everything makes it right by all the gillnets, everything. So that's why there's so much fish in this river, and the river does so well. And what's amazing as well is the giant sturgeon at the mouth of the river. Like the sturgeon fishing here is amazing as well. I didn't, even, you know, and I didn't even think of that. Like I, I just when I was asked to come on this trip, I pictured bull trout, and then when uh, Joel talked about the different salmon here and the trout, and I saw the pictures of the steelhead, it's it's such a gem in the Lower Mainland that I don't think many people know about. If if people are interested in staying at the Pit River Lodge, where should they look? I just. Uh, PitRiverLodge.com and uh, we'll come up and you'll see everything. We've got all the information on there and maps and how to get here and, and everything about the lodge. And you do pickups from the, the do dock? do pickups from Grant Narrows and it's a uh, mm -hmm. half an hour boat ride across the lake, 10 minute trek ride up to the lodge and then uh, from there on in it's boat and air access only so there's six people live in the whole valley so there's no one up here. Perfect. I love it. Thank you so much for yeah, letting no, us stay. I really you. appreciate it Danny. And we are looking forward to coming back here again. I right, appreciate Rod? you coming. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's around, fine. around, 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 Can around. Help Molly, over here. Go over, over the here. top. Over the top. <laughs> the lines pop with my hair. Oh, her hair's in the reel. Her oh. hair's literally in the reel. Here, okay, one sec, one sec, one sec. I got it. You one got sec. It? Yeah. Here, here, here. Reel.